after you wash your hands and have your apron on, come over around this table. How many of you guys cook at home? I'm sure we all do. Yeah? All right. Right. All right, so. We wanted to expose them to whole food cooking because a lot of them may get food that's processed or already cooked. Does anybody's family buy whole chickens? My favorite food is uh, Hot Pockets. I can cook spaghetti. I don't know how to cook, so I just don't cook at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this into eight different pieces. Eight wings, breast, and... And then we're gonna braise it all and we are gonna make tacos out of it. What you wanna do is you wanna start over by his armpit, basically. So there's your <laughs> wing. And what we want to do sometimes is to pop it, sock it out. So that tells me actually where I should be cutting. They hadn't seen a whole chicken before. Uh, so how do you get the pieces? How do you use those pieces so that you can stretch your dollar and make your meal go further? And to use those skills if they're interested in some type of culinary feel of going into food service. Wash your hands so you don't get burned. Oh. Oh. Who's doing the rice? Tomato. Never used to put a tomato in my mouth ever. And then I had it today with, with new stuff and I liked it. All of us cooperated together, uh, how we worked as a team to do things. Yeah, that's the word, yeah. That's what I really liked about today. Bro, you can taste that lime juice. Mm -hmm. Oh, what do you guys say? Yeah. It tastes fantastic. I'm gonna get the recipe right after this. I believe that the biggest lessons that the kids are taking away from this experience is not being afraid to try something new. As educators, uh, whenever you can have that opportunity to take something you have a passion for, you can become a catalyst for kids to follow a passion that they might not have known existed in the first place.